All right, well, it's a windy, hot day here and sunny. That's why I got the hat on. And I got a problem. My 12 volt fuse in the front of my automatic is blue. And I know that because I can't get any electricity off of the power point, power port on the front of my Tesla Model X. If you got a Model X, you know you got one in the front, one in the back. So just check the one in the back. And if that doesn't work, whoa, it hit the door, hit me. If that doesn't work, then you know there's something wrong with the front and it's probably the fuse. Now the fuse, there's two fuse boxes in the car. One's under the trunk in the, in the front, under the hood. It's right under there, but we can't access that one. That has hardly any fuses in it that you can actually do anything with, except maybe the trailer lights. The interior fuses are in the inside of the car. I'll show you where. All right, interior fuses on the Model X. This is Model X only. Model S is different. Are right here, right between the driver's accelerator pedal and the center screen console. So it's actually right here. You got to pull this stuff off. I started working this. You got to pull it. See these clips? Got to keep pulling it. Pull that off. Pull this off. It's right behind here. And before I forget, it's a micro, micro two size, which is ATR, same thing. It's the same size, okay? I bought this for $5 at Walmart. It's a, it's a selection. We only need the 20 amp right there, all right? But um, it's hard to access and the tool might not be there. It should be there. Don't pull any random fuses. You gotta know exactly which fuse to pull, but let's get rid of this crap right here so we can gain access to it first. Once I get the center console freed a little bit like I did, I'm pulling this side to get the carpet pulled back. There's clips behind the carpet too. You gotta get your hand underneath here and pull. Two hands, I gotta put the phone down. As you can see here, I finally got it moving. This carpet didn't want to come off from the top, but that's like a knee airbag, be careful. But see, now it's separating from the top. It's just a separate piece with a seam right along there. Just gotta pull it all, pull it all out of there. Takes a little bit of finesse. And my floor mat was blocking the way, so I had to pull that out. You can see the carpet is seamed down here. So much of the work is just getting this damn thing off. Finally making some progress. Look, okay. oh, there we go. Came right out. See all the clips on there? Clips, 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 and fuse box. Fuse box. There is a close up of the fuse box. There's two 20 amp fuses, you gotta know which one. Do not pull random fuses. You can see right there, there is the fuse puller right there. And I am gonna put uh, some screenshots of documentation I got offline or some uh, stuff here right at the end of the video on, that I get on my laptop so you can, you get a diagram, you'll know what's what, you'll know what fuse goes to what. So you can, you can see there's more fuses over there. It's not just that one location. You gotta know what you're doing. There's a, what's that, 30 amp up there. This one over here starts with the five amp. That's how you know what side you're on. Don't pull the wrong fuse, don't. Let me figure out which fuse I gotta pull. Okay, now looking at the diagram, this one up here on top is actually the rear. And the one here is, is the back. Actually, it looks darker. Number, it's a 20 amp. So that's the rear accessory. You see, that's the rear accessory. That's the front accessory. Don't mix them up. Here's the tool. Gosh, this is gonna be hard to work with. Really hard. Okay, push on the bottom, I push on the back and it opens up enough to, to grab it. You see that? Then I push on the front. And let's see, is it blown? Looks, looks like it's probably blown. Yeah. I think, hold on. Actually, this one doesn't look blown at all. Let me put this one back and try the other one. All right, well, I pulled the other one and this one's blown. So forget my diagram, my diagram is upside down. And I'll still show you the diagram, but just be aware the front is on top, the rear is on back. At least I know this thing is bad. I'm gonna put a replacement in, should be easy enough. 
here is the replacement fuse looks pretty much the same and looks to be working and I, I like the tool that Tesla has it's way better than this little tool this other tool that came with these fuses so if I have to buy more and you should have backups I might just buy some online just a pack of the 20s but I have other ones here in case I need them for the other sizes So it goes right in there. All right, make sure you push it all the way with your finger. I can get it to go in a little bit with my finger. And then test to make sure that it works before you put everything back together. This isn't that hard, is it? Don't let anybody intimidate you and tell you this is too hard. Just use some finesse. Be careful with pulling the clips off. All right, I just checked it out and it works. And so now it's got to put this back in reverse order to complete. Don't forget to put this back on. You don't want to lose this tool. There, now we're ready. So the first step is to sneak this little mounting bracket behind here. It's got to go behind here, tuck this in, then you can get the carpet back in after you do that. Gosh, that went back in easy, way too easy actually. That was so simple. Now it's gonna push, push together for these clips. You hear the clips going in. I think this is about right. I think that's just about right. Let me check that. Yeah, yeah, so easy. There was just a few. I just had to make sure I, I had these pushed in correctly, which I do. Clean this mess up, and we are done. That wasn't bad now, was it? Easy, right? Yeah. If you've done this before, let me know in the comments. If this helped you, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up, the bell for notifications. We'll see you in the next video. Hey, look, here's my umbrella right here. My, the world's most expensive umbrella that came with my Tesla. As promised, here is the information I've got on Tesla fuses. Here's the location. You can see X is in the center where I showed you in my video already. S is on the side. Like You don't really need to know that. But you can also see the main fuse box. X is on the uh, driver's side. S is more near the center of the vehicle. That's just uh, the general location. There's the engine bay fuse box if you need to know any of this. I'll just put it on here so you could screenshot it if you need to. And then the cabin fuse box. This is Model S. Actually, I think the cabin fuse box is the same. Yeah, here, Model X fuses. This is where it tells you what it is. And as I mentioned, there's a mistake here. But I'm just going to scroll through it so you have it. And then I'll end up on that shot of the fuse box. And then here's the engine bay fuses. And I'm also doing this in case this information goes away, because as we all know, Tesla has a thing about handing information to people, especially about fixing their cars. There's the trailer, F-131. All right, now we'll go back and uh, show you what the fu inside fuse box looks like. So I guess I use the same thing on X and S. Here it is. Thanks again. Thanks so much for watching.